Well, as the weather overall continues to trend cooler, WNY's Alexandra Dern headed down to the Do It Center in Horseheads for some safety tips for household heating appliances. Alexandra? Nick, I talked to a sales associate about why it's important to know the ins and outs of these household heating appliances. And like you said, especially with winter around the corner. Safest right now would be anything but kerosene or any type of fuel oil other than an oil burner if you have one that's already rigged in the house. Electric would be the best. Max Bernard is a sales associate at the Horseheads Do It Center. Bernard says the store is stocked up with heating solutions as the cold weather creeps into the twin tiers. Anywhere from space heaters to electric blankets are perfect to keep warm, snuggle up under get a hot coffee, tea. <laughs> Bernard says space heaters are safe to use, but there are hazards to be aware of. You don't want them too close to anything fabric, um, any type of rags or anything that might have any type of flammable chemicals in the rags that could spark an ignition. The best part about electric heaters right now is all of them have tip over safety. So if it does tip, they shut off automatic. Bernard says space heaters have a safety feature, the tip over turn off feature. Here's how it works. When the space heater is on, the red light will indicate that and you can feel heat coming from it. When you tip it over, it turns off. Bernard says heated blankets are perfectly safe to use all night long, but remember. Bernard also says you shouldn't use an extension cord when you're plugging in your heated blanket. Always plug it into an outlet in the wall. Bernard says heating appliances should not be plugged into the same outlet in your home. He adds, keep a space heater and a heated blanket separated. If you can, separate outlets so you don't overload the circuit with too much heat. And now's a good time to make sure you have a working smoke and carbon monoxide detector. Nick?